to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 townie makeup video and so today I bring you the Nishi Day household because I was looking at them a few days ago thinking they seem a bit sad. It's almost December, almost 2021 and I thought hey let's give them a bit of a touch up, a glow up and see what I could do and so today is that day of giving that said family a makeover. But I don't know about you, I'm not feeling 22, I'm 24, almost 25 in like three months. But however, I don't really look at the family bios in The Sims 4. I don't know about you. If you do, let me know in the comments below if you do. But I don't really look at them because I don't really have a purpose of looking at them because I create my own drama and think about what could have happened and what's going, what's going to happen in the future. But I'm glad that I did for this save file because the Nishi Dick household and their names, if you don't know them, are Kaori, which is a teenager, and then Kaori's grandparents are Shigeru and Sakchiko. I think I butchered their names completely. If I did, let me know in the comments below to correct me. But this family and the other two families are connected and I'm unwell, like not physically, but more emotionally unwell because there's so much going on. Because if you don't remember, the Sims team added in sentiments in the base game, but with the new pack, they added in lifestyles. And I feel like with sentiments and lifestyles combined together, it makes the game more real, like more lifelike, where one Sim will feel one way with the sentiments, with the sentiments, for example. Let's, let's use Bob and Eliza for an example, where Bob might feel, um, like, unwell and disgusted towards Eliza but then Eliza feels like all lovely dovey and like excited when she's near Bob and where like Eliza will go near Bob she'll get a moodlet saying I'm excited to be around the sim such and such like that but when Bob's tour is towards Eliza Bob will feel like I'm disgusted I hate her I don't want to be near her so like one so one sim will feel one way but the other sim feels a different way and I f I like that because it makes him more realistic and comes to like more they make them a more human, which is kind of scary, but also like really cool because if you don't know, I love drama in The Sims. I love storytelling. I love making my own stories to see what, what could happen, what will the future will be like, and what their past was like to lead them, like that led up to this day. And I'm glad that The Sims is improving with like the the families and like their backstories and how they became to be, where they were before, and what their future is going to be like. And it's just really nice to see, you know, me enjoying the game again, because before I wasn't really enjoying that much, but now I am. So that being said, let me just tell you the family bio of the Nishi Dig household. And I'm not kidding. I'll be doing two other creative sim makeover videos of the other two households because they're all connected and you need to know the drama. But the Nishi Dig household, it reads... Rumor says the Nishidake family are sacred guardians of Mount Komorabi. Indeed, Shigeru fumes over the fam over the Lato's family local development plans. She wait, Shagiku, however, feels warmly towards Migumi due to an old friendship with the young woman's wait, young woman's mom. Oh, plus she knows what's in her granddaughter's heart. Kaori moved to Mount Komorabi after losing their parents. She soon discovered two loves, the slopes, which is a new skill that you can actually get in the new pack, which is sledding, skiing, and mountain climbing, or rock climbing, whatever it's called, and the son of the grandfather's sworn enemy. If she had one wish, she melt her grandfather's hardened heart. And I'm, like, physically and emotionally unwell because... Kaori loves the Lato teenager son. And if you don't know who is, his name is, his name is Kiyoshi. And it reminds me of Kiyoshi from Avatar Last Airbender, Kiyoshi Warrior. So, I mean, I, don't know. I really like it. Anyway, it's like, it's crazy to think about how all these families are connected in a way because with Kaori loving the slopes, but also loves, like, you know, her grandfather's sworn enemy's teenager son, it's like, insane and so i want to read you the family bio because i just I, I love this family so much i love this world and the families because they're chaotic and like me but the Lato family which i'll get into the other family afterwards um Lato family reads uh migumi grew up in simbachi a golden medalist skier she aims to give her children the same upbringing but memories of her old flame might drive her to distraction, which you'll know in a second. 
Um, Naoki Lato is a former medalist himself and a cal- wait a calculating businessman. His conversational vision of Mount Komarabi includes more tourism, more money, and moderate modernization. Uh, Nanami and Kiyoshi have their parents' athletic talent, but their hearts are lie somewhere else. Nanami just wants to be a kid, and Kiyoshi is crushing on more than the slopes, which is actually Koori, who he is crushing on, but doesn't really want to tell his father or her or his mother about it, more so his father. And I find that so cool, but, and like, I want to know more. So here's the other family, the Yakiyama family, and they're a family of four. And if we're thinking about Megumi's old flame from like her olden days, yeah, his name is Kado. Kado Yakiyama. And their family bio reads, the Yakiyamas moved away from the hustle and bustle of the city, I'm assuming Sam as you know, to the quiet town where Kado was raised. The commute was the sacri- will be the sacrifice, but Jenna and Kado hope to close the close niche community and beautiful natural atmosphere of the region will be worth it. Kado was surprised at the recent news that his childhood sweetheart, Megumi, Lato has also moved back to Malcolm and Rabbi. He loved nothing more to leave the past in the past, which is totally understandable. But the pieces of his broken teenage heart are still tender. And here's the thing. when I, If you go into the game, I realized that I was like, oh, there's no way they're cheating on each other. There's no way. They're old flames. Past in the past. Totally fine. But it's insane. So Kado and um, Megumi... They are both like secretly like not dating, but they're more like seeing each other on the side. Like they're both side pieces towards each other. But Kado, wait, no, Jenna doesn't know Kado, her husband, is cheating on her with Megumi. And not, wait, no, wait, ah, I don't know. His, I don't even know his name. Uh, Naiko doesn't know that his wife, Megumi, is cheating on him with Kado. And like, it's weird but I'm also having like weird deja vu because I feel like I've actually recorded this video before and it's weird. Nevertheless, Kado and N- M- Megumi, they're like going at it. But I'm like thinking, what if, like what what if uh, uh, Kaori and uh, Kiyoshi like hooked up and they like got caught by uh, Shigeru and uh, Naiko like, if they caught them in the act of, like, kissing or, or doing whatever, like, dating at a restaurant or whatever at the karaoke bar, if they caught them, it was like, oh, the secret's out. They're dating. Teenagers dating. Totally fine. But they're sworn enemies. They're like Romeo and Juliet, but in the new world. But if they get caught, like, think about it. If, they, if those who get caught, then they'll have to explain themselves and such like that. And then... I would, I would think, I would think that, um, Kiyoshi would say, dad, I'm so sorry that, um, like, it, it's not what you think. I mean, it is what you think, but I, I can explain. I really love Kiori and she's like my, my, my sweetheart. I love her so, so, so much and such like that. And Shigeru will come in like, don't, don't talk to my granddaughter that way. Da, 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 da. And then, you know, Naiko will be like, oh, son, go home now. Don't do that. No, we can't be associated with those people. But then... And then Kiyoshi was saying, just ask mom. She'll she'll tell you everything. And then what if Megumi and Kado are caught kissing at like this random, like, uh, I don't know, like, the, you know, when uh, uh, Naiko is like walking past like to go home, but he sees like Kado, like he knows Kado, but he, and then he sees Megumi, his wife at this bar, like in the window, like he just walks past and like looks and see them in the window. It's like, is that my wife, Megumi? kissing Kado, he bursts in and then like what are you doing megumi what's going on how are you like what what's what's going on i don't understand and like and then megumi's like i uh me um uh hi sweetie how are you doing how is work what's going on and it's like i think the reason why that they're like secretly like loving each other because they were teenage sweethearts but also with megumi she's like she has a job, but then, uh, Naoki, he works the salary person job, which is, like, he's always constantly working. He's a workaholic, so he never is really home that much. So, it's like, if they get caught, Megumi and Kado get caught, and then Jenna gets into the mix, and then, oh, the whole film just breaks up. 
oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm overwhelmed because there's so many things that could happen. Like, there's so many different outcomes that could happen where Kaori and then Kiyoshi could be caught or Kado and Megumi could be caught and then Jenna catches Kado in the act, like vice versa. It's like the Lato, Yakiyamas, and Nagishi family could all basically break up because they're all sworn enemies and they all like love each other or like some love each other, but some people don't. And it's like, it's, it's, it's so much to unravel that I just want to be able to like understand why, why, like, why do they hate each other? Like, why does Shigeru hate uh, Naoki? Like, that's what I really want to know. Like, why are they sworn enemies? Like, maybe because they're like, you know, in the same business or they were in the same business back in the past. But like, I want to learn more. So hopefully you guys in, like understand where I'm coming from, where I physically and emotionally love storytelling in the sims because one scenario could lead to 50 billion scenarios that could be like the end result and so it's like what will happen how will it end will it continue will it not continue we just don't really know until we play it out for ourselves but nevertheless i'm going to go ahead and actually wrap up this voiceover right here i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments below as always of what do you thought of the the Nish Nishi the Lato, and the Yakiyama family, because when I tell you I'm going to start telling more about their families, I will, because there's a lot more to uncover, and I just need to know. So, nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below, as always, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!